Establishing a movement as early as possible can help the qi flow. But also, we also need to pay attention that moving too much can also damage the integrity and health of joint and bone. For healthy joint and bone, one of the most important aspects of Chinese medicine is definitely movement. Because joint and bones, they are supported and nourished by the qi flow. So with a better qi flow, meaning not stagnant, not restricted, not deficient, then it, the joint and bone can be healthy and thriving and grow uh, stronger and stronger despite of our age. Aging is, of course, one of the most important factors that can affect the integrity or the health of the joint and bones. But it doesn't mean that once you age, you will definitely suffer from unhealthy bones and joints. So establishing a movement as early as possible can help the qi flow. But also, we also need to pay attention that moving too much can also damage the integrity and health of joint and bone. Why? Because when we exercise too much without the restoration of energy, that deprive from the repairment of our meridian, our tendon, our muscle and our joints and our bone. If we use up too much of our energy reservation, then we don't have enough qi, blood, essence, and fluid to nourish other body parts. And that results in premature aging of joints and bones. So movement is important, but also moderation. Movement in moderation is important. And secondly, we also want to reserve the kidney essence and kidney qi, which we can translate it into hormone, we can translate it into blood circulation. So maintain a good blood circulation, a healthy balance of hormone is very important as well. And third, eating nourishing food for the joints and bones is definitely one of the key factors that help to build healthy joints and bones. So things that can nourish kidney qi, kidney essence, like beans, black beans, soybeans, walnuts, sesame, which are considered nourishing kidney essence and kidney qi and that can also help with the joints and bone as well and if you look at the nutrition value of the food such as sesame and soybeans or black beans they're rich in calcium as well which is also one of the most important nutrient that affects the health of your bone and joints there's a concept in chinese medicine that uses shape or the nature of certain food to nourish the organ that has the same shape and name or nature. However, it doesn't always work that way. Drinking bone broth might not be the best idea to nourish the bones and joints because it has too much phosphorus, which can obstruct the absorption of calcium. So in a way, it's not that beneficial, especially nowadays, because back then, when we are hundreds or thousands of years ago that we don't have enough nutritious food if that's the only thing that you have then that might help a little bit because it, after all it, it's high in calorie and high in collagen that can help a little bit but overall we are not in a nutrition deficient society so it's not going to help that much if you like this video please subscribe and follow me and i'll see you soon